So it's been a while since I've done a face-to-face -face cooking uh, video and I'm quite excited actually because today I've been um, sent some uh, sweetener to try but it's more than just a sweetener it's 100% naturally derived sweetener from an organic um, stevia uh, production and it's absolutely calorie free no aspartame, no saccharin, no sucralose, no artificial colours or flavours and of course no sugar so I do a lot of baking and baking my cakes has really helped me lose a substantial amount of weight because in a way it substituted the processed uh, sweets and cakes that I used to buy so by baking my own I know what's going into the the treat and uh, that's what I'm going to be doing today I'm making one of my favorites oat bran cake so in here I've got two tablespoons of oat bran and this is oat bran get from the regular cereal aisle uh, in that I'm going to pop in, oh there's a teaspoon of coffee, I've tried this new coffee, I really like it, the Kenko Nutty Hazelnut. Uh, I'm not going to mix it, I'll just put it in dry as it is. So I'm just going to add um, half a teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of bicarb, just a little pinch, a tablespoon of the um, Natvia. I love my, I've got a terrible sweet tooth, so this is being an organic alternative um, is music to my ears. I'm going to really enjoy using this product. And I'm going to put in there uh, two tablespoons of fat-free uh, from my spray, but you can use yoghurt, any kind of fat-free yoghurt, or flavoured yoghurt if you wanted to. Or cork, I've used cork as well in the past. Also uh, skim milk. And, oh, sorry about that. Okay, so what else is going into there? If this is going to be a rum and uh, ginger coffee cake. So this is a flavouring I got from Sainsbury's. A little bit going in there. And the same with the vanilla, that's going in. And I've got some fresh ginger that I peeled. I absolutely love ginger, it's one of my most favourite things. Coffee, ginger. Ooh. Basically, I love really strong flavours. So um, you don't have to put this in if you, it's not your thing, but this is my thing. This is what I like. It smells absolutely scrummy, really scrummy. So what else is going into there? We're going to put an egg in. This is a free range egg I got from my uh, daughter-in-law. That's going in. And then I'm going to give it a whiz up. To use these small pudding basins they're a good hand size i'm not really sure what mill they are um anyway there it is i'm gonna put some fry light into that a few squirts um sometimes if i'm not in a rush or have time um i will actually uh, do the egg white and yolk separate and then fold in the whisked up egg white at the end so the oven will go on at 180, preheated of course, and um, then I'll cook it for approximately 20 minutes. Now the only other thing left to do is weigh out a few almonds. I'll just get my favourite scales. I've got some Weight Watcher scales, but I really quite like these. Um, five grams of almonds is quite a lot. It doesn't sound a lot, and five grams is one point. You, mean, you wouldn't think that was five grams. It looks a lot more than five grams. I just really love my nuts. <laughs> That's going over the top. So, there it is. My scrummy pudding for later. I um, might even treat myself to a bit of custard to go with that. Um, you can make double it up at the recipe, portion size, as you like. Uh, but I'm really going to be quite interested to see what this tastes like in baking. Um, so, I'm quite excited to see what the outcome will be. Okay, so uh, 20 minutes later it's cooked and it looks absolutely lovely. 
very pleased with that. Uh, I'm going to leave it cool a little bit and then I'll turn it out. But thumbs up for me, looks very, very good. Okay, so the open cake's cold and you can see it's come out of the dish easily. I'm just going to turn it over for you. It's, it's quite light for an oat brown cake and you can see it's a lovely texture on the bottom. Lovely colour too. Um, it's a bit dark on the top, probably due to the um, coffee I sprinkled on it, but I do love coffee flavoured cakes. So I thought I would cut it in half so you can see the texture inside. Oh, I can't do this very well one-handed. One second. I've got the best knife, I don't think. <laughs> Okay, so there you go. That to me is an absolutely beautiful oat bran cake. Now they're never going to be as light as a, um, a, you know, a processed flour, white flour cake, but they're healthy, they're filling, and as part of my weight loss uh, journey, these little oat bran cakes have been just magical. So, um... Yeah, I'm very happy with the Natvia. Um, a nice alternative to the sweeteners I've been using. And it's a nice uh, product too. Just let me open the lid for you. And you can see it's a lovely granular. Um, sprinkle over your breakfast, in your coffee, in baking like I use it. Um, all round lovely grains. Let me just it's in my hand for you to see very sugar granule like very pleased with that and uh, yeah I'm gonna tuck in sprinkle a bit on the top serve that with some uh, yogurt and that's breakfast why not have your cake and eat it yummy